Joseph, you've signed a new contract with Rovers until yeah. the summer of 2023. Just how happy are you with that? Um, finally glad to get it done. I think when we spoke earlier, when I just signed before the Wigan game, earlier on in the season, I just kind of just shared how we just glad for the opportunity and just was willing to just come in, put my head down and just work hard. And thankfully, it's just come out and, like you say, I've been rewarded with uh, an extension. It's just to kind of kick on and just keep working hard. So hopefully progress with the club. You've managed to play a few games, particularly recently, of course, at left-back and centre-half. Mm. How have you found the settling-in process to the football? Enjoyed it, honestly. Like, like I've said in, in previous interviews, it's been a thing of patience. And just kind of grateful that, you know, the opportunity has come. And I've just kind of remained patient, kept working hard in training. So when it does come, it doesn't come as a surprise. I can just kind of almost mesh my way into it. So I'm not kind of looking like an outsider coming in. I'm looking like I'm part of the team, coming in to help the team be better. You mentioned patience there, of course, becoming a free agent mm. after everything you knew at Arsenal and then having to fight your way back into contention at an EFL club. How much pride do you take in that? The fact that it could have easily gone the other way, couldn't 100%. it? You see a lot of footballers do that. You're back in the game mm. and now you've got your future sorted. I think for me it's kind of... It's a, it's a nice feeling because on a personal level you prove to yourself that although it didn't work out at your academy coming from Arsenal went into the summer as a free agent, you're flipping thinking like, who wants me? It's just, you're in limbo almost. And so now being in this position where I've signed a, a longer contract, it's kind of like, you know what? I can actually do it. It's, I've got it within me and it's for me to now show not only myself, but all those around me and just kind of prove that, you know what? I can do it and just continuously keep doing it and keep doing it and keep doing it. How are you finding life up north? Enjoying it. It's cold. Like you can see, it's, I'm, I'm a bit chilly right now, but it is cold, it's something different, but it's, it's nice, it's nice, it's quieter. Not as fast paced as London stuff, so it's a bit more calmer, so I'm enjoying it. I suppose when you're coming into a new group, it can be easy to sort of feel your way into it and say on the outskirts, try and figure personalities out, but you, from the outside looking in, look like you're already in the heart of the group and, and everybody's taken to you and you've taken to them in the same way. Yeah, I think it's just something that's got to be natural. It's, it's got to be, we're a team at the end of the day. As much as football can be an individual sport, you want to go there and do that. If you're not a good collective, it's not going to work out. And for me, I found that important. Like, you know what? It's a new club. I need to kind of make myself and make everyone else feel like, yeah, he's come in and he's brought into what we want to do. He's brought in and he's a team player. He wants to give everything for the team, everything for the badge. And I think that's what I've aimed to do. And it's not as if I've gone out of my way to try and be any different. I've just been myself, come in nice. And I'm kind of grateful that I've just meshed well with everyone else. What have you made to the standards of, of League One in general? Because you've come up against some pretty big sides in your short time at Rovers so far. It's a, there's, a, there's a nice mix. I think just football in general across the whole spectrum of English football, you get more clubs wanting to play football. Whether it's the teams at the top, teams at the bottom, everyone wants to play football, everyone has a certain brand of football that they want to play. And I think come up against different players, different styles, some strikers that are quick and strong, some aren't as quick, so they want to come to feet, some that just want to go in behind. So there's a good balance, but overall the quality in League One is good. It's a good league. Does that improve you as a player, the fact that you're having to adapt, whether it's Saturday to Saturday or sometimes Saturday, Tuesday, you're always having to think about something different? 100%, 100%, always having to be on your toes. It's, at academy football, was, you kind of get almost a framework of strikes are going to be the same. They might come into spin behind, work on their hold up there, but here it's very different. So when we come out, come up against... Like, in, like on Tuesday, their own goal was more to feet, wouldn't really spin in behind. Next time, again, in the Lincoln game, Dan up top was to feet and in behind, quick and strong. So you've got to kind of adapt your game and also implement your style onto them so they can also feel uncomfortable as well. Of course, when you are at centre-half, a few of the times you've had Tom Anderson alongside mm. you, one of the most experienced players at the club. He's had four years here and played a lot of games at League One level. How much has he helped you in, in talking you threw games and sort of guiding you as well? Massively. Honestly speaking, Skip is fantastic to have beside me. In terms of his game understanding, constant talking, positioning, everything like that is massive for me. Little encouragement after making a good challenge or a good position is massive for me. And it's ju it just shows when you have someone that's as experienced as he is next to you, it can help your game. It gives you a bit more confidence whether it's going forward or defending. So... And now the deal's done, what are the aims for you between now and 2023? I think just to kick on, honestly speaking, just to kick on. And this season is to just push on with the team, 
keep the team in the best possible position and for me personally just to grow as a player and just kind of keep developing I'm only 21 so there's still a lot more development to do but it doesn't mean I just kind of take my time easy as you know I just at a good pace just keep developing keep becoming a better player hopefully we'll see what the future holds